morning guys it is monday may 20th numbers for the day are 20 and 18. 20 is about a new balance a new partnership a new harmony or a new team okay um or a new way to communicate intimately because we also have uh number 18 and number 18 is about um it equals nine so it is endings it is purging and it is healing but as 18 it's about setting the example for healing or healing through an example um feeling empowered okay so a lot of us uh with this full moon in scorpio that has just passed us a lot of us have been coming into our own power. A lot of us are feeling way more empowered than we were just a couple of days ago. I mean, like, suddenly, <laughs> right? <laughs> and some of us are still going through that purge where we're, we're still in that emotional plane. Now, in addition, we actually have, um, what is that, nine? We have two threes, two fours, and a zero. So three is about joy, it's about communicating it's it's also about traveling i associate the three with mercury which is also information and knowledge okay and then we have the zero which is the beginning of something new and then we have four and four so we're it's about emotional control and stability it's also about emotional power okay Let's see what story the cards have to tell us today. Also, too, what did I want to tell you? Okay, so the sun enters Gemini today. Happy birthday to all the Geminis. And we have a T-square that exits through Chiron and Aries. Okay, so now this T-square is Chiron and Aries, Mars and Cancer, and Moon and Capricorn. Um knowledge about your early emotional security or your in, in regards to your home life okay with the moon and capricorn is being serious about emotional security and uh taking action to feel so uh, more secure or to recognize where some of your original hang-ups came from okay through experience or through example and with it exiting through Chiron and Aries at four degrees, this is stability and emotional leveling out who you are, okay? Um, you're going to let your past define you? I hope not, okay? Because your past is not you and it does not define you. These are your circumstances, okay? So what I had put in the horoscope is basically that you are so much better than your circumstances or where you came from. Not saying where you came from was a bad place, but the surrounding circumstances and the environment, um, the default environment or your default circumstances do not define you. Yes, they help to make you, but only if you're able to overcome them. Okay, so it's time to forgive yourself. Okay, you are not that powerless, helpless person that you used to be. Yes, you might have made some wrong decisions in the past, but we don't live in the past, okay? We're trying to get out of moving, of living in the past, so you need to forgive yourself, okay? Forgive your parents and your family and move on and do not let your past stop you or block you from anything ever again, guys. So first, ooh, goosebumps. <laughs> Don't know why, sometimes I just get them. Uh, they fill me with the vibes. So the first card is the Two of Pentacles. With the Two of Pentacles, this is about a change or balance, okay? It's about, it's also about obligations, your financial obligations, your bills, things that you have to take care of. You, you are just getting a handle on things and with the Capricorn energy, yeah, it's time to get serious and see what needs to be taken care of, what you need to address your energy to, but also to, you need to stay balanced and not, um, not come from a place of fear, okay? Because think about it, when you're 
angry or when you're sad or when you're afraid, you can't quite think right, right? So it, it's like uh, you're going to have to take a break if you need to. If you need to sit down, go in the bathroom, lock yourself in the bathroom for five minutes and just close your eyes and breathe and listen to everything around you. First thing you need to do is calm down and relax. You've got this. Yes, you've got a lot of bills. Um, but you know what? Uh, so long as you stay in fear, you keep thinking, oh my God, I'm under all these bills. Then you are breeding negative energy. We're trying to focus on the positive because that's what you're trying to breed. The positive instead of the negative. So for many of you guys uh, with the death card, which can be Scorpio, some of you guys might be getting information about your taxes or you might be getting your taxes back or some of you guys might be receiving information in regards to uh, a death or an inheritance or you might be getting that uh, divorce paperwork or the TRO paperwork that says they have to stay away I know a lot of you guys are waiting for this with the two of pentacles this is about a written message about money so it could be something you get in the mail it could be an email it could be a text message because that's still written right or you could see something no i don't feel like you could possibly come across a paperwork or a book or something written or text message that leads you to finishing or ending something paperwork paperwork to end something to tie things up now we just got over well we haven't quite gotten over we're still in the energy of the full moon in Scorpio even though the moon has moved on to Sagittarius okay because it was a blue moon and it feel it felt like an eclipse it was really really powerful So a lot of us are feeling empowered or powerless, like you could be receiving some information that somebody did pass away and you didn't know about, or you could receive a letter from somebody from the past with an apology, I'm so sorry I did this for you, maybe they're seeking forgiveness, okay, don't forget, we always forget to forgive ourselves, but also too, you might like get something in the mail and pick it up and go, ah, fuck this motherfucker, you know, um, screw him. That's still breeding negative energy. You need to go, all right, you know, you don't have to accept their apology, but say, I understand that you want to make reparations. However, I can no longer have you in my life or this situation cannot go on any longer. This could be a Dear John letter, okay? <laughs> you could, uh, somebody could have wrote a Dear John letter. I'm moving out. Um, uh, we're separating our finances or I've already removed my belongings. For some of you guys, this could be like the landlord coming and giving you an eviction notice. You need to move or um, some kind of court thing. Or you could be writing a letter yourself to somebody. I wronged this person in the past. Now I want to send them a note, an apology. It matters not if they reply. The point is that this is expressed and you stop holding it in, which is what the full moon and Scorpio purge was all about. The things that were left unsaid, the things that you thought that never came out of your mouth. Okay, we are releasing it. Some of you guys could have wrote it down. This is all the horrible things that I've ever thought. It doesn't matter if you told somebody. The point is you need to release it. Now, whether you released it by crying and crying and crying, or did, if you wrote it all out, or if you wrote a letter to somebody, or if you wrote a love letter to yourself. Dear me, this is me writing to you in 2019 okay i hope that when you read this future letter you're in a better place but i want to apologize to you a letter to yourself dear future me 
I was a dumbass. I did this. I'm getting over it. I love you. I hope when you find this letter, you're in a better place. Something like that. Something to like that. Something like that. It could definitely be a letter to the self. It could definitely be some, some kind of communication in regards to uh, taxes, inheritance, um, or something coming back to you. Uh, things left unsaid by others and by you. Now, with the strength card, this is also about taming the beast. Like I was just saying, don't automatically be like, well, fuck you, you can go fuck yourself. Um, that's immediately going to the negative energy. You're just going to have to be brave and uh, know your strengths. But at the same time, too, if this is somebody who hasn't really changed and they're like being forced to write you or communicate with you, um, then you got to know where your limits are. Like I said, you can be classy and don't respond to the letter, period. Because it could be a just an exercise for them to express. And then a lot of us, um, this phrase came up quite a bit, and I'm seeing people do it. Um, this is the point where we're faking, faking like bacon, okay? Faking it until we make it. And I went through this too. Um, in practicing the law of attraction, I had to be in that energy. Even though I wasn't there heart-wise, I had to try my best not to go back to that 3D, not to lower myself to somebody else's standards of behavior and to maintain a higher vibration in order to make it a habit I was practicing. So a lot of you guys are going to have to practice where you draw the line, recognizing where are your strengths and your limitations, okay? And it may have come out, and we're not out of the full moon and, and Scorpio energy yet, okay? Because actually the energy extends out for me it's, it extends out a week before and a week after so literally like this whole week we still have a week to purge and like i was saying a lot of you guys may become quite emotional and be like why am i crying you know snot running out the nose uh, can't see because your eyes are all, all puffy and fat let it go let it flow why hold on to it it's done nothing but poison you so please Please release me. <laughs> Let me go. So this could be also a letter with somebody saying, please release me. Let me go. I am I recognize where I went wrong. I'm looking forward to getting some measure of control. I've got a hold of my triggers now and my ability to cope is getting better. Okay, Some of you guys could be just like writing down how do you cope? Like, when this shit happens, I will not blank. I will blank instead. Affirmations. This could be daily affirmations altogether. This could be uh, talk, self-talk. Okay? And now that you are conscious and aware, whenever something happens, instead of immediately reacting, you're going to carefully consider the situation. Okay? Yep. No more self-sabotage. Conscious awareness of where you went wrong before. And a conscious, um, every move you make from now on will be conscious. Ooh, and the Ace of Wands. Yes, you're beginning to be more conscious and more aware of your behavior. Okay, the ways that you have coped before did not serve you well. And you probably recently found that out or you're finding that out right now or you're about to find that out okay where your limitations are now don't worry about the crying you know do it do it cry because emotions are not a weakness they are in fact our greatest strength okay they've got a lot of power and this scorpio full moon was intensely emotional a lot of you guys had to be brave and open up and speak from the heart okay realize that You've been screwing yourself holding all this stuff in, but a lot of you guys were also waiting for the opportunity to express this, knowing that everything is all in divine timing. Okay, so this is your opportunity to make a fresh new start, to do things differently, to do things in a way that doesn't screw you up. We're trying to breed the positive here. Okay, so it's time to release the demons, put all negativity down, and start fresh. 
pure and from the heart. Ace of Wands is a blessing, okay? So as soon as you realized where you were holding yourself back, where you've been limiting yourself, where you've been lying to yourself, where you've been delusional, all of a sudden there was this opportunity to make things right. Seven of Swords and Three of Cups came out separately. So with the Seven of Swords, that can be about lying. It can be about betrayal. It can be about what was left unspoken. And then it can also be about what was purposely left unspoken. So this is keeping along uh, with the Fulminant Scorpio energy about not saying something, not revealing, not being vulnerable, and not opening up, but in fact resistance so those who resist that's basically resisting is the opposite of not surrendering so there is some there are some out there that are not surrendering and and you'll see them they're the ones who are holding hostages they're on the high-speed chase they're the ones freaking out and causing violence because they're confused okay they're not living in reality they're living in the past and they're living believing the lies and the deception that we've been handed or the lies and deception that they've handed themselves okay so a lot of you guys could have bonded because things came out where the things that weren't being said um now there's now that you've said them or you've been given an opportunity to express them it's time to go all out do not resist as this will bring intimacy and closer bonds with this three of cups there could have been some of you guys who weren't telling somebody there was somebody else or that you betrayed that you cheated for some of you guys you had somebody else and you never spoke up or said anything you just kind of let this relationship die without informing the person that's uh, that's why there could be a dear john letter or for some of you guys, you could have lied about your pregnancy. No, I'm not pregnant. Or yes, I'm pregnant if you're coming from the negative place. You could have lied about going on a, out on a date with somebody. Or you could have lied about where you've been. Or you could have betrayed somebody when you were at a party. You could have been lying to yourself about how you bonded with somebody because you weren't happy in a relationship okay um you stepped out of the relationship without cleaning it up first okay so now you've got the cleanup of the cleanup for some of you guys this could be this could be a fake party surprise party surprise blessing surprise party surprise surprising bond Or there could be just, you know, parties and celebrations and anniversaries and stuff going on. And you're just like, I don't want to go. <laughs> um, oh, I, I have something else to do when really you're at home purging and crying. It's okay. You don't have to go. I mean, by no means are you obligated to do something that you don't want to do. Okay. But don't lie about it. You let them know hey i'm really feeling not up to par i would love to be there but i just can't pull my head out of my ass today or i just can't pull myself out of bed today maybe i can get a uh what is that called rain check maybe i can get a rain check and i'll celebrate with you personally maybe take you out for drinks or whatever or i'll come by with the gift later i just can't deal right now you need to be truthful, okay? Don't lie to people because at this time you're going to get caught. <laughs> you're going to get caught or it's going to weigh on you heavily because we're not trying to lie. That is not uh, that is not our natural state of being, lying, not telling anybody, omitting, okay? Don't lie because you don't want somebody to know the true state, your true state of affairs, okay? If this person really is a friend, tell them the truth and let it go if they're really your friend you know you'll hook up later <coughs> for others there could have been somebody the dear john letter the person that you left it took all your strength 
but you got out of there and there's nobody sucky bitching your energy anymore. Um, ooh. You could have felt betrayed. They could have betrayed you. You could have betrayed them. They could be hounding you or stalking you at this time. What do you, you know, what are you doing? What is he doing? Where's, where's he at? Who's she with? Who's she talking to? That kind of bullshit. So you might have to be like, I'm not doing anything. I'm at home. But, you know, hey, let's face it. Why are you even talking to them? Okay. They're trying to keep tabs on you, trying to stay present because that distracts you from what you're doing. Okay. If you said, get the fuck out of my life, they need to get the fuck out of your life. They can't be calling, hey, what are you doing? No, it's done. Go away. You're leeching my energy. Okay, so for those of you who have finished something up and those people keep hounding you, stalking you, calling you, trying to distract you, getting you to re uh, react or respond to them, they need to go. Okay, don't lie. Don't be straight. I'm sorry, I don't want to have anything to do with you. This is breaking the bonds also. Breaking that attachment to them. You need to go. I've told you no more. That's the end of it. Okay, so on strength and Capricorn. Ooh, we've got the moon, the empress, the magician, three of wands, and knight of wands. Okay, so the moon is currently in Capricorn. Okay, serious business. The moon is about hope. It's about healing. It's about the unconscious things coming up to the surface. Now, we just had the full moon in Scorpio, and we've moved through Sagittarius, and we're moving into Capricorn today. Okay, so let's see what this dream, what these dreams could be about. The moon can be about dreams. It's definitely about purge. It was a big one, though. This moon brought down towers. The walls came crumbling down, and... You may have been enlightened to something. The moon is also a mirror, too. A reflection of the reality. Some of us may have realized that uh, with the Scorpio full moon, when we released everything that we haven't said, it's because we realize that our dreams aren't matching up to our reality. Okay. So we had to let go of things in the reality to create space for the new dreams we had. For some of you, you could literally be having dreams of somebody leaving you or somebody cheating, somebody being pregnant with the Empress here, sitting pretty. I don't see nightmares though. I really don't. So this is more, this feels more of the unconscious. And once you perch that, you know, you're basically sitting pretty. The Empress, yet again, another three. Knowing that you're in a better place now. The Empress is kind, nurturing. She's nurturing. She's represented by Venus. So this is also Libra and Taurus energy. And what do we have? We have... Uranus in Taurus and today is the 20th so we still have Mercury in Taurus and we have Venus in Taurus so we got the Sun excuse, excuse me yeah the Sun Mercury Venus and Uranus all in Taurus we've got a lot of grounding energy oh my god did I just snort <laughs> okay so comfort and luxury and illumination that your dreams are not reflective of your reality right now okay so you're going to grow you're going to nurture you're going to take this fresh new start and grow from there okay go from there grow from there the empress is sitting pretty she beautifies everything she comes into contact with this is the feminine power entity. So you're serious about being in your feminine power. Your life 
look like you didn't have any control. You didn't have any control. Now that you purge all the things that you felt, and mainly crying because you didn't have any control over your life and you weren't happy with yourself. You've now expressed that and now you can uh, start making your life look like how you dreamed. You're going after your dreams. Now, for some of you guys, like I said, there could be a child involved or children involved. We got Empress and Three of Cups, both about loves and bonding, special bonding. Or with the moon being in Capricorn and the Empress, it, there's some attention being given to some ideas that you had. You might be coming up with some new ideas because of some new information. Or you could have recently gotten some information that you're about to get serious on. Chasing the dream is what I just heard. Okay, magician. Because you can create. Wow, look at that. <laughs> okay. Empress and the Magician, standing in your feminine power and creating your legacy using all your energy, having the full range and the full depth of your power available for you to use, for you and only you to use as you see fit, as above, so below, okay? The Magician harnesses willpower. The Empress is the very, is the poster girl for Creation. So we have two creations going on here in the moon card. So we're creating healing. And with the moon being in Capricorn, there's no self-sabotage. It's reversed. So it's about being industrious. It's about being serious. It's about being in charge. Okay, I had to look something up here for just a second. You're feeling the deepest feelings. Yeah. Your deepest feelings have been revealed, okay? You are a creator. You are a divine feminine, okay? So, we still have the full moon energy active, okay? Like I was saying, it's the blue moon. Look at that, three threes. When we have three threes, that's information and knowledge. Knowledge is power. So, use that energy. Uh, hornet, wow. Wow. <laughs> This is voicing your intentions and putting it out there. This can be all four of these together is I'm going after my dreams and nobody's going to stop me. This is what I want. This is the direction I'm going to take. So be it. And then there's the Knight of Wands, either excited ambition or communicating exactly like I just said. I'm going after what I want. Nobody's going to stop me. I'm already moving forward. And I heard abracadabra and alakazing, whatever the other <laughs> magic word is. Yeah, this is magic, super magic. And being excited about finally creating something good. Wow, cool. Super magic. <laughs> Roll in with your new power. Thanks to the powers that be. And you. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Once again, on the devil reverse, we got devil reverse. Okay. Three of these coming out. That's, to me, that's psychic uh, downloads. So it feels like in two to three days, we will begin to move forward. Okay. So with the devil being moving forward, we actually have that over here and not letting self-sabotage stop you, okay? Being ambitious, persistent, going after what you want, being committed. And then on top of that, the thing is right here with these two together, upright and reversed, it's revealing your deepest fears and not being afraid of being abandoned okay because we are never truly alone this is a fresh new start in how you're treating yourself in how you're loving yourself okay you're really you've released the demons and now the energy of capricorn is working for you okay you kind of you may kind of want to take things alone or you may have to take the first step alone but that's okay that's okay. You have everything you need within you. King of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you may have some help. This could be your daddy, uncle, cousin, brother, 
somebody who's willing to invest in you or somebody who's willing to help you energy wise can be money attention time or love okay it feels like daddy uncle because of the fact you're moving here or making a brand new start you've got some nurturing support and it feels like older male an older male or an older male energy you could be of course working with somebody who's an older male or somebody who's willing to invest in your new business idea if in fact that's what you're working on the new business idea with the Empress a lot of Capricorn energy in this <laughs> A lot of earth energy. And then the eight of pentacles is about being busy. Or this could be somebody around you who's really, really busy at work. Trying to create something or trying to help you with something. Or running errands for you. Somebody could be practicing or studying or teaching you something. Or they could be the one learning from you. A lot of threes, a lot of eights. Three is about knowledge. To me, it's about knowledge and information, the knowing. And then eight is ability to deal with life. So that's the knowing and the waiting. Knowing that you have to wait. So practice makes perfect. Fake, there it is. Fake and bacon. Fake it till you make it again. Okay. But it does definitely looks like you've got some help coming in. Don't feel that you're alone. We're never alone, but you've got somebody coming in to help. Yeah, some of you guys may be having to go back to school to learn something. Or there could be just somebody that's willing to share some financial means with you. Of course, you could be like working out with somebody too. With the uh, earth energy here. You could be working out with somebody. You could be moving back home. Or like somebody could be moving in with you. Because as you know, sometimes when we get um, overburdened by what life is handing us, okay, before we realize we're the ones who brought it to us, that um, I completely forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> Got fun it. My <laughs> I gotta drink my coffee, I think. Um, but the shared resources. So shared resources in the home, in the earth. This could be like somebody bringing you some flowers or some vegetables. Could be, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Ooh, goosebumps. Uh-oh. This could be somebody coming in that wasn't there for you before. Okay, the reason why I say this is because we pulled Pono Integrity. You see the 15? My intention is to live in alignment with my core values and to cultivate honesty and integrity in all of my relationships. By choosing to live in integrity with yourself, your family, your friends, your living space, your work, and the ecosystem of the planet, you cultivate true alignment with your life. Living honestly and from your core values will allow you to be more effective and less stressed in all of your endeavors. So this could possibly be somebody who wasn't there for you before and now they're coming in because they've just gone it to, they've gone through it too. Okay, and in order to make things right, they know they have to be there with you. You're the one. They know they have to help. And it's because they love you. And it's because they love you. Okay, so Mm, some food smells good. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. I will see you guys tomorrow.